Thanks, Nima. Here's your Alberta Daily Update. Alberta Premier Danielle Smith's comments about Russia's invasion of Ukraine prior to her becoming Premier has received attention and backlash this week, including at the federal level by NDP foreign affairs critic Heather McPherson. This is incredibly dangerous rhetoric. This is incredibly painful for Ukrainian Canadians, for people around the world that have, that have worked so hard to support Ukrainians. This is incredibly painful for the heroic Ukrainians who have been battling for eight months for their own country, their, their sovereign country. I condemn those comments and I want to make it very, very clear that new Democrats will always stand with Ukraine will always push the government to do more for Ukraine. Smith is now apologizing for what she calls, quote, ill-informed comments about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Back in April, Smith said neutrality is the only answer for Ukraine. And in February, she said that two regions of Ukraine feel more affinity to Russia. On Monday, Alberta's opposition NDP called on her to apologize for her, quote, tone deaf and cruel remarks. Smith issued a statement Tuesday saying she condemns the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the suffering it continues to inflict upon the Ukrainian people. She says that her knowledge and opinion have drastically changed since then, and she made some ill-informed comments and apologizes for them. A board member with Alberta Health Services has resigned. This follows a looming threat by Premier Danielle Smith to replace the 12-member board of directors with a commissioner who will report directly to the health minister and premier. Former board member Deborah Apps says she can't stand by just waiting for the new premier to act on her promise to fire the board. Smith pledged to remove the AHS board for the organization's handling of the pandemic. Smith said AHS failed to ensure there were enough health care workers on the job when it required all employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Alberta Finance Minister Jason Nixon says he's going to work hard with the province's new premier to keep the United Conservative Party united and defeat the NDP in next year's election. But when he was asked in a media interview if he thinks Danielle Smith is the right person to lead the party, Nixon only said that she was elected by party members and he respects that process. Nixon made the comment prior to a party caucus retreat in Sylvan Lake, the first with Smith as leader. Since she was sworn in as premier last week, Smith has been widely criticized for her comments about the discrimination faced by people who did not get vaccinated or about Russia's war on Ukraine. Family, friends and members of the Blood Tribe laced up their shoes and marched in an effort to seek justice for a woman whose murder in Calgary remains unsolved after 15 years. 43-year-old Jackie Crazy Bull was fatally stabbed near 17th Avenue and 11th Street Southwest on July 11, 2007, in what police describe as a completely random attack. Four other people were attacked that same night. Sandra Manyfeathers, Crazy Bull's sister and organizer of the Justice Walk for Jackie, says it's difficult knowing her sister's killers have not been brought to justice. She says her family simply wants closure. I'm not going to stop looking for justice for Jackie. It's important to me. The people that murdered her obviously told the people in their circle what happened that night. And maybe many years have passed, but with your silence, you are actually continuing this violence. And this violence, what, it, uh, what it's doing to my family is it is, uh, it, it, we're, we're not ever able to um, get over Jackie's. We're not ever able to move forward based on this. A Kelowna, B.C. man is facing criminal charges in Alberta for dangerous driving after RCMP recorded his Porsche traveling at 270 kilometers per hour on the Trans-Canada Highway west of Calgary. Bounties say the car was going nearly two and a half times the posted speed limit on the night of September 15th. The speed limit on that stretch of highway is 110 kilometers per hour. The 36-year-old has been charged with dangerous driving and is scheduled to appear in Cochrane Provincial Court on December 13th. The TV series Fargo is back to filming in southern Alberta. The first three seasons of the popular FX show were shot in and around Calgary, but the fourth was filmed mostly in Chicago. The Alliance of Canadian Cinema, Television and Radio Artists says on its website that the show began shooting Monday in Calgary and surrounding areas. It says filming is to continue until the beginning of April. And that is your Alberta Daily Update. Back to you, Nima.